the last few months, I've been testing pretty much every AI tool out there for web designers. Cursor, Framer AI, and even some custom GPTs for client research. They're all great at one thing, either design or writing or automation, but none of them really understood how designers actually run their business day to day. ChatGPT5 is the first one that comes close. It's not just faster or smarter, it actually connects the dots between creative side of design and the business side of landing and managing clients. So in this video, I'm going to show you the very specific ways web designers can use ChatGPT5 to grow their business, whether you're freelancing, running a small agency, or trying to get your first few clients online. You'll see how it can help you find and qualify leads, write better website copy that converts, speed up your website building process, automate client updates, and even turn finished projects into content that brings in new work all using the free version. All right, let's get into it. So the first one's for every designer who hates the handoff stage. You know when the mock-up looks perfect in Figma, but actually building it into a live website turns into a nightmare. ChatGPT5 is finally good enough to bridge that gap. You can literally drop in a Figma link or a screenshot of your layout and just tell it what platform you want it built on, WordPress, Webflow, or even plain HTML or CSS. Just a quick disclaimer though, this isn't perfect yet. I've had to chain prompt a bunch of stuff to get my desired output, but it's still surprisingly easy and speeds up my process quite a bit. When I tested this, I gave it a one-page portfolio layout. Nothing fancy, just a hero, a few sections, and a contact form, and asked it to turn this into a responsive WordPress page using clean HTML and CSS. It came back with a fully working code block, already mobile friendly, but here's where it gets better. If you're already using WordPress, you can ask GPT-5 to package that layout as a reusable block or even a plugin. So instead of rebuilding similar pages from scratch for every new client, just import it, swap the content and you're done. And because GPT-5's reasoning is way sharper now, it doesn't just copy your design, it understands it. So instead of thinking it as a code generator, think of it as a developer who instantly gets your design decisions. That means faster turnarounds, less back and forth with devs, and more time to focus on the part clients actually pay for the design and the strategy. So one of the hardest parts of running a small web design business is finding good clients. And I don't mean random leads from Fiverr or cold DMs, but real local businesses that actually need a website and can pay for it. Normally, that means hours of scrolling through Google maps, checking who doesn't have a website, copy-pasting phone numbers, and guessing who's still active. But now, with ChatGPT5, that process can literally take minutes. Here's what I did to test it. I asked ChatGPT5 to go out and find cafes, gyms, and salons in Bangalore that don't have a working website. And instead of just giving me a wake list, it actually checked the links, filtered out the ones that were broken or missing, and organized everything into a Google Sheet with name, location, phone number, social links, and what's missing from their online presence. But it did not stop there. It also wrote a short personalized message I could send to each owner, something like this. And just like that, I had a warm list of leads with context, contact info, and message drafts all ready to go. Now think about what that means. You could run this once a week, automatically collect hundreds of qualified leads, and focus all your time on closing, not searching. That's the second use case turning ChatGPT5 into a personal lead research assistant that finds businesses actually ready to buy. So once you've got a list of potential clients, the next step is usually writing. And that's where most designers get stuck. Because let's be real, you might be great at layouts or color palettes, but sitting down to write a website proposal or homepage copy can feel super stressful. That's where ChatGPT5 actually feels different. Older versions of GPT could write, but it always sounded a bit robotic. You could tell it was AI, but now, with version 5, it finally gets the tone, pacing, and personality. It writes like a human, not a marketing robot. So here's what I tested. I gave it a basic prompt. Write a homepage for a small salon in Mangla that focuses on minimal, natural looks. The owner's name is, let's say, Reena, and her clients are mostly young professionals who care about simplicity. And within seconds, it came back with this clean, friendly copy. It even structured the sections properly. Hero headline, about paragraph, services, and a small call to action. Then I asked it to turn that into a proposal, something I could send the owner along with the demo site. And it gave me a full one-page write-up. 
what I would improve, why their current presence loses customers, what results they can expect, and the exact pricing breakdown all in my tone. Here's the wild part. I just gave it one of my older proposals as a reference and it mimicked my voice perfectly. That's something version 4 never quite got right. It could write well, but not like me. So this one's huge if you're a freelancer or a small studio owner. Because now, every outreach, every proposal and every website you write can feel polished and personal without spending hours on copywriting. Alright, so this next one might be the most practical and honestly, it's something every web designer should set up at some point. Let's say you've just signed a new client. Normally, that means a ton of tiny, repetitive steps. Sending a welcome email, collecting their brand assets, setting up a project folder, maybe even creating a contract or an invoice. It's all important, but none of it really needs you. So here's where ChatGPT 5 gets really smart. You can now use agent mode, basically giving ChatGPT a small list of tasks, and it'll figure out how to do all of them in just sequence. For example, I told it, I just signed a new web design client, I need to onboard them, create a welcome email, a Google form to collect their logo and brand colors, and a Notion page where I can track deadlines and deliverables. Within a few minutes, it had written a perfect welcome email in my tone, generated the full Google form link using a connector, and even formatted a Notion project tracker I could duplicate for every client. Now you could take this one step further and plug it into automation tools like N8N or Zapier, so it happens every time someone signs a contract or fills your work with me form. Same thing goes for monthly maintenance reports. Most designers either don't do them at all or spend hours creating them. Screenshot of site speed, uptime, updates, backups, SEO state. But ChatGPT 5 can take raw data from Google Analytics and WP Remote, which I use for managing my sites, and turn it into human-sounding client report with context like, your site stayed online 100% this month, and loading speed improved by 0.7 seconds after image optimization. Keep this, and you'll rank higher locally in the next few weeks. It's small stuff like that which makes your clients feel like they're getting real attention, even if it's all automated behind the scenes. And that's the difference now. With GPT-5, it's not about writing code or content. It's about thinking like an assistant that actually understands your business and your clients. All right, so this final one is where ChatGPT-5 actually helps you market your work, not just build it. Most designers finish a client project, upload a few screenshots to their portfolio, and then move on to the next job. But that project you just trapped, it's actually a goldmine for content. You just need a way to turn it into something people will actually see. Here's how I use ChatGPT-5 for that. I'll give it the project link, a few notes about what problem we solved, and maybe a testimonial from the client, and then I'll say, turn this into a LinkedIn post that tells the story behind the redesign. Make it sound conversational, not salesy, and then give me a short version for Instagram and a long version for my blog. Within seconds, it gives me three different formats, each one written like a real person, not an AI ad. It'll even suggest image captions, hashtags, and callouts you can add to make the story more relatable. Like, most salons don't realize their booking forms are costing them customers. Here's how we fix that for that one client in Bangalore. Now, if you want to go further, you can plug the same workflow into an automation. So every time you finish a project, GPT-5 can help you write the case study for your website, create social posts around it, and even draft the outreach email you can send to similar businesses in that niche. And that's really the big shift here. ChatGPT 5 isn't just helping you work faster, it's helping you build a smoother system around your web design businesses from first contact to delivery to marketing. So these are five really practical ways to use ChatGPT 5 as a web designer, from finding clients and writing proposals, to automating onboarding, building sites, and even turning your projects into content that gets you more work. If you found this helpful, hit a like, subscribe, and check out my other video where I walk you through how to use AI to sell websites to local businesses. Start there if you are looking to grow your client base fast.